Guys, I learned so much with this market day preparations and that's what I bring you in this video. Enjoy. So today is Tuesday 7th. It's the second day of my countdown to the market day. The market day is on Saturday 11th. It's 11th and 12th Sunday, but I'm only doing on Saturday 11th. Good morning! It's coffee time. It's not as sweet as brewed coffee, but it's coffee. My Hot and nice. Yesterday, I did more work than crochet because it was Monday. <laughs> Today I have two assignments this morning to finish and push those ones out. And then once that is done, I can now start knitting. Today I want to dedicate more time to crochet or knitting. <coughs> I have the scarf that I didn't finish yesterday. I want to finish that today. And then I'm thinking of what to make between neck warmers and house shoes. I'm debating on what to make. So I'll be crossing from crocheting to knitting today. For some. So let me do this and we'll see you next. So guys, last saw you in the morning and I thought my office work and the paperwork was going to take at most three hours but I was not gonna be this is now three o'clock and I've just moved from the working desk I finished all that I needed to do for the shop and everything else I think some of the things like content creation for today that one has been shelved to probably tomorrow but yeah i have now crossed over to crochet o'clock so in the morning i told you this that i have one scarf to finish before i move on to the next item that i'm going to make and this is the scarf i have um it's It's now six inches wide and I want nine inches so I have three more inches to do so it looks like this is all I'm going to do today and if I'm starting something else it's going to be in the night so let me continue and we we'll see you see you later It's now 7.03. We last saw each other around 3 o'clock. And finally, this scarf is done. Between 3 and now, a few other things have been done. As well as the crochet of this scarf. So from here, I had said I'll cast on something. My plan was to move from crochet to knitting tonight but I'm tired <laughs> so I don't think I will be knitting I don't think I'll be knitting tonight I won't cast on anything but I'm going to do finishing up on a number of items and then we will see you later probably tomorrow morning such a beautiful scarf the colors are gorgeous they're amazing I think it's one of the most beautiful scarves I've ever, ever done. And I made a scrunchie for it. Yeah. Oh, scrunchie. We had a tragedy this evening. It was a sad evening. Um, a residential building, apartment block, just like two blocks away from us, collapsed. And so that took me off my crochet, come meeting, come everything. It's already past 
1 a.m. And I decided I'm not casting anything else. So I went to make scrunchies. <laughs> so, so far we have um, one, two, three, four, five scrunchies. So for now, I'm tired. Let me go and sleep and we'll see you tomorrow. Hi. So today is Wednesday. I actually thought I would be saying good morning today, but yes, the morning came and passed. We slept very late and so I overslept. Truth be told, I overslept. And my day was, I had an order to deliver this morning and a few other errands for my main business, which is the motorcycle safety wear. So that's where I started and got back home around, I think, 2.30. And then addressed uh, WhatsApp messages. I'm not even done. I don't think I'm done. WhatsApps and messages and emails. And this is now, I think, <laughs> around 3.30, thereabouts. And I'm thinking of now getting on to the crocheting or the knitting. And to be honest, I haven't figured out what I'll do. So this, this is one of the scrunchies that I did. And I decided let me add one more row because it was looking tiny. This is countdown day three. We've already done Monday, Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. I have Thursday and Friday. And Saturday is the market day. Friday has also been declared a public holiday. Actually, today I have to figure out exactly what I want to, to sell. So what I will do after this is now take out everything that is ready, check it, group them, see how much I have, and then I know what I need to add. Because I feel like <laughs> past today, I might end up with an inventory that I'm not sure about. I have also not been advertising, so from today, tomorrow, and Friday, I have to do quite a bit of social media advertising. I don't know if you all know that there's a market day. Wah, yes. So the only day I have to do more is Friday, and tonight, and tomorrow night. <laughs> I'd like to hear from you. If you've ever done a market and watching this video so far, what advice would you give me and somebody else? Put it in the comment section below. I'm doing this from a very green position. Like no knowledge, no skills of yarn markets. So share your advice. Tell me what you think so far. How could I make uh, my planning better? Uh, also suggest items that you think would sell better so that in the next market I'm way better planned and I have the right items so looking forward to hear from you see you later Good morning. <laughs> Today is Thursday, Thursday 9th. So one more day. Okay, including today. It's two days. Today, Thursday, tomorrow, Friday, and then Saturday is the market day. I'm catching up on work. It's 8.40 in the morning. I've been here since 7.30. And then I leave for a meeting. 
I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven finished scarves. I have six scrunchies finished. I have two big toilet bags. I have pads pouches, I think about six of them. And what else? <laughs> I was supposed to do my inventory yesterday, but I didn't do it. I chose to do finishing on the items. So today, I want to do house shoes. I have one that I have to sew together. And I would like to make two in between all this work. So afternoon and then night. Wait, whatever will be ready is what we will take. I'll see you later today was quite a long day but i am happy that i had a very very successful meeting i am home now starting on the house shoes i also managed to cut my hair do you like my new haircut let me know i have a few lessons i have learned so far with this preparation find all the lessons that i have learned with this process towards the end of this video and let me know what you think and if you have any other tips you can share please put them in the comment section down below so guys um today is friday and it's the last day i have to prepare for my market day i've done the audit of the items i have um I think they'll be good enough for half a table because I paid for half a table. Right now, I'm doing the price tags. So I went and bought this paper. This is like Manila paper. It's thicker and you get it in different colors. So I've printed, just going to Canva and getting a price tag and editing it. I've printed, made with love and there's a space for price. So these are the ones that I'm going to put on my uh, products. I always want to put labels for my brand throttleware on all my knitted items that I'm selling. That's not done. So labeling is not done. Higher. The price tags I'm doing now, I think these are quick to do. But then I need to add the, I'm going to use the strings, the yarn itself, to tie them. To the items i was thinking of buying pins and then i hook them with the pins but then i realized that is an extra cost and there's no way i can tell a customer let me take my pin i need my pin for the next market so that will be a cost that i can't recover so i'm going to use yarn and i'll figure out how to attach um i thought of buy buying ribbons to tie like the scarves in a cute way but then again, that's another cost that is going to push the price of my items higher. And I said I will not do. So I'll make some kind of a ribbon thing with yarn. What this means is that it's extra work. <laughs> and I have very little time. If we can, we will. If we can't, I think we can do away. Paper bags, I haven't gotten nice paper bags. So I need paper bags. What else do I need? Um display items well yeah i have no idea how my display is going to be but i think tomorrow will be the day that i learn what i need i already have a four tire rack from ken Poly. i'll use that to carry my stuff and also display and i have two other or three um trays like nice nice ones cute ones that i'm going to carry and I will use that for my display. Then from tomorrow, I'm going to know what I need for my display. So I'm really not worried about this. So that one, you can say we are tick. I'll write more as I continue. For now, it is getting these ones ready and um, just putting everything together. So guys, let's see you later.
as I come to the end of this video for market day preparation. Hey, this has been a whole school, a whole new subject, a whole new learning. I've learned a lot. Wait. So I, I signed up for this market three days, not three days, I signed up for this market three weeks ago. The first week of the three weeks, I still had orders that I had to finish. And so I had two weeks to build my inventory for the market. Which means, because previously I need things that I like, things that are exciting, and then I need for orders. I didn't have enough for the market, but I have really been thinking about having a market day because I'm building a community. If you watched the other video, I talked about my goal to be able to bring meters and crochets together and have our own market because building inventory is no joke. So back to the lessons that I have learned. The first one is, as you are doing your orders, knitting what you like, knitting and crocheting what excites you, have in mind that one day you're going to have a market day. So number one, the things you need, knit them to the standards of a market day. Two, even if you're taking orders and you're doing your craft and enjoying it, always build your inventory to be able to have a market day and have something that you can put on the market day. If you one day want to sell the things that you're making, also have a variety in the things you crochet and knit so that the day that you want to go for the market day, you have a variety. When signing up for market day, sign up for market days that are not too close, that are way ahead, probably minimum a month away. So that you have time if you have orders that you're working on you have time to finish those orders and you have time to look at the inventory you have and create or knit and crochet what you don't have and the market may appreciate hey, the season the season you see we knit and crochet based on the season and then for example at this time this is our winter and previously we were in the hot season and therefore whatever you were knitting and crocheting that time was meant for the hot season or our summer so sometimes you may have inventory and the season may not appreciate the inventory and you have to build it afresh you have to like work on a new inventory for the season so when signing up for a market, remember that. Keep auditing your stocks. <laughs> Keep auditing your stock. Keep knowing and updating your mind, your memory, your records on what you have for the market. That is if you really want to do the market days. And like I have told you, you may have quite a lot. If the season is not fit for what you have, then you just have to knit and crochet your ones. So that's what I have learned with this market preparation and I'm sure maybe the things I have learned and I don't remember, I'll remember them later and I'll share them with you. Follow me on Instagram. I also share what's happening on daily basis on Instagram. Some of this, when they come up, I quickly share them there. So you won't miss, just in case I forget in the next video, like I'm not remembering But those five are key and very important and that's why I, I couldn't forget them so i hope you have learned something with my market preparation i hope you you're better now and as i grow my community and as i look for the market and if this is something that has um, interested you you have an interest in it you would like to do market then keep it here subscribe to this channel so that we walk this journey together and you don't have to learn by yourself you can learn from my mistakes and be better at your markets Tower. it's now past almost it's almost 11 it's the 
first day this week that I'm going to sleep so early. I can't believe I'm going to bed before 11. But I'm so tired. I'm excited about tomorrow. I'm anxious. I can't wait. I'll be bringing you what will happen on the market day in the next video. For now, it's a good night. I'll see you in the next video. I'm actually just doing the last bit of yarn on this because it's, it's ran out so I wouldn't be able to finish. And then I go to bed.